Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be talking about the new 2019 iPad mini. It's the fifth generation in the iPad mini lineup. It was last updated in 2015, so it's been quite a while now. They didn't do a complete refresh, so they kind of just took the body of the iPad mini 4 and then updated all of the internals, so the performance, the screen, the speakers. It's just a better iPad mini 4. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the review. The build and the design of the device remains the same as the iPad mini 4, obviously, from 2015, so it doesn't look quite as hot as the iPad Pros, but it's structurally rigid and there's pretty much no chassis flex. Here's the first generation iPad mini to compare, and the one big difference that I noticed is that they removed the ringer switch. Now, I know they killed it with the last version, not this one, but still, it was something that I used a lot because you could set it to change your orientation lock and having a physical switch for that was really convenient. Otherwise, it's the same design as the iPad mini 4, still built well, and it's got that classic iPad look. Inside the box, you get a lightning cable and a 10 watt charging brick. Same as last year, nothing special. The screen they're using is much better than the iPad mini 4, so it's running a 7.9 inch screen, supports the P3 color gamut, it's got true tone for automatic white balance, there's no gap between the display and the glass like on the standard iPad, so it's fully laminated, 500 nits of brightness, and it supports the first generation Apple Pencil. You're really only missing the 120Hz refresh rate and the Apple Pencil 2 support compared to the iPad Pro, so you're not sacrificing image quality here. It's a really good looking screen. On the bottom of the iPad mini are the two speaker grills. The speakers themselves sound quite good, they're clear and the bass response is pretty good. My only complaint is that they're only bottom firing, so there's nothing on the top to balance it out when you have it in landscape mode. If you like the speakers on any of the older iPad minis, you'll like these ones as well. It's kind of the same setup, but sound quality is a little bit better. Inside the iPad mini is the A12 Bionic, so it's the same CPU as the one in the iPhone XS. It's got 3 gigs of RAM, and it also comes with 64 gigs of storage at the base model, with the option to get 256 gigs for an extra $150. Performance with iOS 12 is great, and iOS 13 is supposed to have a bunch of new features for iPads, so that's pretty exciting. On the top is your headphone jack, and on the bottom is the fingerprint sensor. It's the second generation Touch ID, so it's quick and accurate. And the Wi-Fi performance is also really good. It's able to max out my internet, which it's not crazy fast, but 300 is probably good enough for whatever you're doing on a tablet, right? The camera is completely flush with the body, and it's a decent camera. The sensor itself isn't particularly amazing. It's an 8 megapixel rear. Your phone is probably going to take better photos than this, but it does the job if you're just looking to take a photo of a document. It uses the same 19 watt hour battery as last year, and I'm getting around 6 hours of battery life with brightness maxed out. You'll get a couple extra hours if you lower the brightness, because it does get quite bright, and when you crank it up, that obviously needs a lot of power, but it's good enough for me, so I just put it on full blast 24-7. So that's the 2019 iPad mini. It's a pretty nice all around spec bump from the previous model, especially the performance and the screen. Unfortunately, they didn't give it a complete redesign, but if you're looking for an iPad mini for the smaller size, there's nothing I really dislike about it aside from the one-sided placement of the speaker, so it gets my recommendation. So that's the end of this review. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Also consider subscribing for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.